Yeah, and I would say one of the things that draws people to you outside of just your talent, obviously, and what you do is just how relatable you are and like the realness that you have. And like I was previously mentioned about some women in sports, they do want to be so buttoned up and professional because they want to be taken seriously. But you show your whole personality, like not only on the show, but on social media, just like, yes, I do this and I do this and and all the avenues that you're in and stuff. So where is that? Is that like a freedom that you've always had being being in sports or was there kind of a shift to where you just said, screw it? It's all me all the time. It's definitely been an even bigger shift recently. It's funny because when I was in the Tri-Cities, Washington, and this is where, despite my reservations about ever recommending the local news <laughs> life for anyone or specifically the local sports journey, um, being in the Tri-Cities, I could do anything because the stakes were so low. Yeah. So I started getting really creative with my highlights and with my anchor packages and with even my storytelling and features. And there was just this really nice freedom of, okay, if you mess up or if someone hates this, who's really seeing this? And as right. we grow in like the social media era, that's a little less true. And it's not like I was a hundred years old, yeah. like it, social media was there, but Twitter has just taken off into a different universe. And then when I moved here, you know, you come into a new environment, so you're a little reserved, and then you start finding your footing again, and you find the places that you're comfortable. And then again, even the transition to Grind City Media, it was scary because I wanted to be taken seriously. I was like, yeah. oh, shoot, here we are, two women giving our opinions on sports, and there are already going to be 100 people lined up against you who are like, why on earth would I ever listen to this? But now I've recognized, who cares about those people? Yeah. Like, nobody, nobody is coming to me uh, because I am the smartest person and I'm very smart. I'm not downplaying <laughs> my intelligence, but they're coming to me because I'm me yeah. and they're coming to us because CJ's him and the relationship that we have on the show and the chemistry and the fun that we have, people just want to laugh and be entertained and learn something along the way too. Um, but you realize that the biggest currency you have is your own personality. 100%. So if you are diminishing that in any way, the only thing you're doing is is hurting yourself by not kind of gifting all of you to your audience. Yeah, because even at 24, like you showed your personality. There was right. no there was no doubt like you knew when when you were on, like you were yeah. going to get to see something different. It wasn't going to be perfectly buttoned up. Yes, you're professional mm-hmm. as heck, no doubt about yeah. that. But like you can throw your personality in there and weave it in in kind of a kind of a way where people almost could miss it. Yeah, you know I think one saying? time I did an entire um, Lil Nas X Old Town Road sports cast <laughs> where I snuck as many lyrics. Like, why? I don't know. Because I was bored right. on a Saturday right. and just wanted to make something interesting. But yes, yeah, so it was definitely always like a part of who I wanted to be on air. And now at Grind City, because like you're saying, it's not just sports. It's not local news. There is such a different freedom like in this new age, modern digital media landscape of journalism Yeah, to where it's like, I think we've realized, and you can give me your opinion on this as well, but like I think we've realized that, like you just said, people don't come to shows and people don't listen to podcasts for this is what happened, this is how it happened, this is how many points were scored. Like, Mm -hmm. no, no one cares about that. They're there because they've kind of endeared themselves to you and the personality that you have. And I think, to me, that's the coolest like culture shift I've Mm -hmm. seen in media since I've been in is like, we don't care how professional you right. are we don't care how buttoned up it is we don't honestly sometimes people really don't even care how well you know the stats yeah. and stuff it's like can you give me somewhat of the information and can you entertain me mm-hmm. like can you take our short attention spans and and keep them on you for 45 yes. minutes to an hour can you do it in a new and clever way that i'm not right. getting from the other six million and five podcasts that yeah, exactly we're like we are so drowning in content and so you just have to try to cast your line and be like this is what makes us a little bit different. 